Good day, friends. It is me, HL, my tech. And if you're looking behind me, this is a Tinkercad tricycle. Friends, I've got a way for you to take your project and show it off to the world. So let's get cracking. So the first thing you need to do before you start showing off is do something cooler than me. Uh, add something that I didn't think of. Maybe a spoiler on the back, a jet engine, uh, even something as simple as changing the wheels. So first I'm going to check the size of my wheels. See how they're about 28? I'm going to delete these. And with these deleted, check it out under the shape library. If you switch, you can go to vehicles and machines. And there are awesome dragster, truck, spike, tires, all kinds of options that you can bring in. I'm going to bring in a spike tire. Remember mine were about 27, so I'm going to hold down shift and shrink this till I get it down to close to that number. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to stand it up 90 degrees. Remember if you stay close to the shape, it's easier to get it to stand up. Let's do D to drop and see how close it lines up to my axle. If I click the axle, I hold shift and I do a line. I can make the axle the master and choose the center button. And then I'm going to look at it from a corner, preferably that corner, I believe. And I'm going to choose middle and boom. Now my fancy new studded tire is ready to move to the other side. Once again, control D and then just nudge it across. Now do note, you got the hub facing the wrong way. All we got to do to fix that is use the sweet flip tool. And all of a sudden you've done something cooler than me, which means it's time to show off. So here's how you show off. First, zoom in. Right click and hold shift to pan so you've got the exact angle you want. And then use send to to save a picture. Notice I'm in my GIF trike and I'm going to call this Tricycle MDH1. And then you would do this for every cool angle you could think of for your vehicle, naming them with all kinds of different numbers. Now I had a student do this, so I'm going to take their project and I'm going to show you the next part where we make it an animated GIF. So the first step I do is I type animated GIF and when I do that I get easygif.com. Now on this page I want to do a GIF maker and then we want to choose files. Here is my tricycle project. These all have the EJM because that's who made it for me. These are the other ones with the cool boosters. And once I've got all the little files I want to use, I can hit open and it brings in those six files and when you hit upload it turns them into a sweet animated GIF. Now they are not the same size and this is where you learn to make yours a better size. I'm going to just hit resize so it makes them all fit. And then I want them to be delayed 75 in between it and I want them to cross fade. This makes it so the animation looks a lot cooler. I'm going to do six frames in between and I'm going to do the same six for the fader and when I hit make the gif we have to wait for the little cat to go away and then boom we will have a sweet animated gif of our project so we'll be showing off our Tinkercad creation with a file that we can share with anybody and there is our sweet animated gif now if we're looking back up here you can drag drop and change the order so say i didn't want the flames to be first say i wanted that to be near the end i could arrange that and make it so that it showed up the way that i wanted so i'm going to go back to this and i'm just going to return to the bottom i'm going to keep the 75 and i'm just going to make the animated gif again I have to wait for it to do a little bit of work, but then you get the result that you want, which makes it the most fun. So I'm going to decide that I like this order. I think it's pretty sweet, but I want to add some text. I'm going to do that by clicking on the right button. 
Once again, you need to be patient as it loads. You'll see down here on the screen, it tells you it's loading. And when it finally does load, you'll have all the frames of your creation over here on the right. Now, the more frames you added, the more you'll have. So right here's frame number one. And you can see this is where it's doing those merge steps that I did when I told it to crossfade. If I slide all the way to the bottom, I can see that I have 36 frames. Now I found that when I generate text, I should do about 10 to 15 frames for the text. So let's go back to the top. In frame one, I'm gonna say Tinkercad, and I'm gonna put Tricycle. I have found that size 60 is pretty decent. I'm gonna have it only go 12 frames, because remember I have 36, so it'll be 12, 12, and 12. And I did that math in my head. I'm going to pick a color. I want to use a red because that's what I like for Tinkercad. And if I hit set, it'll draw it down here on the bottom and I'll be able to check to see if 60 is a good size. I like that a lot, but I'm going to move it up into this area right here and click set again. You'll see it blink and now from 1 to 12, it'll say Tinkercad tricycle. I'm going to go down to number 13 because that's the next open frame. Remember, I went 1 to 12. And I'm going to put by Elijah, because that's who it was that created this. Once I've got that typed, I'm going to change that font size to 60. I'm going to pick a different color. You can pick a different font, but I do like this font, so I'm going to stay with it. I'm going to go from 13 to 24 and hit Set. It'll first give me Elijah down at the bottom, and then I'll pick where I want to put it. And I'm going to put it over here on the right side and hit set. So then from 25, hmm, that didn't seem to stick. Let me do that again. I'm going to hit set again. This time it blinked and it stayed up there, so I'm good. So now I'm going to go to frame 25. Once again, sometimes it's faster to use the slider, especially if you've got a larger GIF. And then I'm going to put HL Mod Tech and YouTube. And because it's YouTube, we'll make it red after we change the size to 60. And I'll let it go from 25 to end. And I'm going to hit red because that'll be less than 15 frames. I'm going to give it a very strong border. I'm going to hit set. And let's move it up here. Because of the way the bike is built, I'm going to actually leave it in that space and see what I think. Let's hit set and then scroll to the very bottom. I'm going to cheat and use end on the keyboard. And this is where I can output the GIF. Once again, you need to be patient. It takes a moment for this to happen. But in the end, you get a nifty project with your text and your cool words on it. That's pretty fun. I'm going to add one more item. I'm going to add an overlay. I've got a cool little Tinkercad image. I'm going to choose Choose. Real quickly, I've got a cool little Tinkercad image stored that I can drop in so that it adds a cool overlay. Once you pick it, you need to upload it. And then you need to choose where you want to put it. I'm going to put mine right there. And I'm going to hit Generate Image, and it will put that little Tinkercad logo or whatever image you pick all throughout your project. If we wait down here, the little kitty will go away. And bam, just like that, you've got a sweet animated GIF showing off your awesome Tinkercad project. When you finish, do make sure you save it. That way you get to keep your file. I'm putting this in the trike folder, and I'm going to call it Final awesome project and you'll see it shared on Twitter in just a minute so my friends remember the steps were have fun playing in Tinkercad when you're done save your Tinkercad project with all kinds of views from all kinds of different angles then visit easy gif and turn it into an epic animated gif file friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.